Hello, welcome to SharePoint journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this video, you will learn what is web template and how we can provision site collections and sites using web template as a sandbox solution. Because in Office 365, you could only use sandbox solutions. Uh, you can't use the form solutions. Okay. Site collections can be provisioned even with the apps, but if you're not using any provider hosted app in Office 365, you have only one option, which is sandbox solution. So web templates are basically used for provisioning the sites in your uh, tenant in case of Office 365. Let's say your customer wants some of the additional features apart from what are the templates which are available uh, in the out of box. So it's very common requirement okay so uh, we're going to create a custom web template which can be uh, used to create either site collection or the site so in this example we'll provision a custom web template for a blog site okay so let's go ahead and open sharepoint uh, environment because sandbox solutions whenever you're building you need to have sharepoint environment okay and let's build one custom web, web template using visual studio so let's open sharepoint environment so this is my local server where i have sharepoint running so i have visual studio here go to file to create a new project file new project and choose sharepoint solutions and that choose empty project and call this one as my web template okay click ok it seems we have already the project which is available okay my custom web template okay so just click ok to create a project it's gonna ask, give me a pop-up whether I have to deploy this as a sandbox or form solution. I'm gonna deploy it as a sandbox solution. Click finish to create a project. So once you click finish, it creates an empty project. You could see here the project has been created. Now to create a web template, we need to have empty element file and then uh, which is having the configuration for the web template and the other one would be on a .xml file which is having going to have all the required configuration for lists, web parts and the features that would be deploying to web template. So let's add an empty element right click on the project click on add click on new item from here choose an empty element and call it as my web template okay and it is going to create an empty element for us okay so you have element.xml file which is created and also a feature got created so let's modify that feature as my web template always remember the web template can have only two scopes either it is form solution then it would be at form level the other scope can be a site scope so in case of sandbox we are allowed to have just site scope so let's change that to a site scope okay i'm just modifying the title okay now element.xml need to have the required configuration for the web template element so basically the web template can have a lot of other properties we're going to use only few of them which is required for us let's go back to the actual site let's click on site contents and see if you try to create a new sub site under the template selections you can see that you have a category here and you have a title and you have a description 
these are the three parameters end users can see so let's define those three the first one is display category so let's define the web template element okay within that web template I'm gonna specify display category which in this case I would say custom size okay the next one would be the title where user can select so I would say title this would be my custom site the next one is the description okay my custom site using web template something like that so we have the details where the user will be seeing it now all the web templates will use base site definitions to create the web template so what we have to do is we have to find out the base web template which we need to use it now in our case we have to use the for the blog one so let's define the properties here the one first one is base template name okay and the next one would be base template id and the last one would be base configuration id so these are the three things which we need to fill okay to do that if you don't know all these values what you could do is you can go to 15 high see program files common files microsoft share web server extension 15 folder from here go to templates and select the language from here you can choose the xml folder you have all the web temp.xml files here so let's open the base one okay so here you could see the web temp.xml file and you have different set of settings here for the team side for the global what we need here is the blog one so for the blog side you have a template name called blog let's copy that okay and put it here and the next one what i what i need here is the id the id is 9 so i'll use that and the configuration id is 0 so i'm going to put that also here now one more important property is the name this is very important the name for the web template should be same as the empty element which you define okay these two should always match if that doesn't match then your web template doesn't work so it should be the same of this one so name is here so we have defined the configuration which will use the base site definition of the block template okay now the next one is we need to define the honor.xml which is required for the block template so for that what we could do is go to the 15 have again templates you have a set of predefined site templates from here go to block and under xml pick owner.xml and copy to your local so from here right click add existing item i'm gonna use that owner.xml file go to desktop choose owner.xml file now if you open that you could see that a lot of configurations which is defined here so what you could do here is you could delete the unwanted things uh, which is not required for you let's say for example you don't want all these document templates so you could simply delete that okay and you can see here you have just the configuration id which is zero and in the web template it's again zero so that's how you should match the one more thing important one would be the ui version it should be the 15 okay because you're developing for sharepoint 2013 okay and also here you could see that you have a features here a site features if you define any site features and if you are creating site collection it will activate one feature at a time in the order you mentioned 
let's say it is going to activate first this feature then the next this feature the same case with the web template features it will activate the features in an order but if you are using a web template just for the sub site it is gonna activate only the web features and you have to make sure at the site collection level these features got activated already okay now if you go to the feature we can see that only the elements.xml file and there is no owner.xml file but while packaging this solution you need to include the owner.xml also to do that right click on this go to properties and choose the deployment type as element file so once you change that okay and properties yeah so this this will include along with the the package which you are going to create okay now you can see that you could see the both elements.xml file and honor.xml file along with the feature so to move this one to the office 365 you could just publish so once you publish it it is going to create a package so let's save that package to the desktop okay and it's packaging the solution okay build in progress package started package published success now what you could do here is let's say for example you want to create a sub site using that inside the your training site collection so go to site settings it's a sandbox solution you can upload to solution gallery so click on solution galleries upload the solution here okay then choose your custom template and once it is uploaded just activate it make sure it is activated now go to your site contents let's create a sub site here click on new sub site and you could see you can already have the custom site here okay let's choose the title my custom site blog and use the same thing all the permissions just click on create it should create a block template using block template now a custom site okay let's wait for that you could see we have created the custom site using a different template and blog site has been created so if you want to create a site collection using that template what you could do here is you can just create a site collection from here select private site collection and while creating the private site collection or the new site collection what you have to do is it will open this uh, pop-up where you could create a new site collection and you can give the title the URL while doing the template selection just choose the custom one and choose option as select template later and fill the all the information and click OK so I have already created here one site collection which is without the template select the custom template later so if you choose that option it is going to open this window where it will ask for the template to be selected again so from here you could upload the package to the solution gallery okay so let's and upload that to here okay browse that choose the package click ok activated now it, it is activated now let's go back here open that custom site again now you could see that in the custom site you have my custom site option okay because you have uploaded the solution to the solution gallery and activated click ok to create a new site collection with block template it's 
so just click OK and once you click OK it's gonna create custom site now so you see here new site collection has been created so if you go back to the solution so what we have done is we have added an empty element with web template configuration display category and title description the name should be the same of this module and we have taken the owner.xml from 15 high under a blog xml folder and incorporated here and that published as a sandbox solution okay so in this video you have seen how we could provision a site collection and sites using a web template for a blog site template so you can do the same thing for the various other uh, templates like team site publishing site okay so it's, we haven't made any major changes to the owner.xml in future videos what we'll do is we will have our own landing page custom master page and provisioning few more lists libraries so we will see all those things how that can be done thank you for watching this video for more videos please log on to sharepointjourney.com